What's up guys? Today we're gonna downgrade iOS 14.4 to 14.3 and end of this video we're gonna jailbreak iOS 14.3 using checked on jailbreak with a Windows PC but you can use this method to iOS 14.4 to iOS 14.2 downgrade without losing data even using a Mac computer or the Linux operating system um, but first I will tell you some of the guys who ask can they downgrade iOS 14.4 to iOS 14.2 or 14.1 but the problem is Apple after a few days they delete this iOS 14.2 or 14.1 even 14.3 file then you cannot downgrade so that's the problem but if you want to downgrade iOS 14.4 to 14.3 you need to go to the Google and type IPSW I put this uh, link in the description this is the official site IPSW.me I'm going to click that from here you need to select your device I'm using iPhone from here you need to select your device I'm using iPhone 7 and uh, from here you can see one is global other one is GSM if you bought your iPhone UK or USA then you need to select the GSM if not you can select a global so I'm gonna click a GSM right from here you see I was 14.3 software update still available so then uh, you can downgrade I was 14.4 to 14.3 but here you see as 14.2 or any other updates are not available same thing can happen as 14.3 as well if you really want to downgrade as 14.4 to 14.3 you need to hurry up because Apple deleted these files and uh, as 14.3 file also can delete so then you cannot downgrade so guys um, why do you want to downgrade because you know if you like to jailbreak for online method something like uh, uncover or odyssey jailbreak in the future if they release the jailbreak update only for iOS 14.3 till iOS 14.3 so then uh, if you're staying iOS 14.4 you cannot jailbreak and uh, that's the main reason but anyhow so if you want to downgrade iOS 14.4 to 14.3 it's still available but you have to be a hurry now click here as 14.3 and uh, go down here and this is the download click that well sometimes it's not straight work then we need to copy this a link and uh, paste it to the web browser URL search so I'm gonna do that now because it's uh, not gonna work straightly because I click the button copy that and uh, open the new tab and here paste it have a look at this start to download so it'll take time at least uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes it depends how speed your internet so now I'm gonna close this all the windows alright just minimize close this one now open the iTunes now connect your iPhone to the iTunes close this window and now we need to backup so you can do iCloud backup the cloud backup but uh, I recommend to do a backup to the computer so I'm going to click here now backup process start from the top you can see here so now we need to wait till end the backup 
So in the meantime, you can click subscribe button and the click bell icon as well. You can thumbs up this video and uh, share this video with your friends. Because then they also can downgrade if they really want to downgrade as 14.4 to 14.3. The backup process is completed. Now we need to save our backup file uh, related to iOS 14.3 so let's see how to do that if you don't do that your data will be loose after downgrade 14.4 to 14.3 now type run in the search bar and open this and type in that search box percentage mark app data percentage and dash and then you need to click OK. I'll put this command in the description so you can see what exactly that. Now click OK. From here, click on Apple Computer. Now select your mobile sync. So this is the backup, and these are the, all the backup what I did today. Uh, select the latest backup what we did before a few minutes ago from here scroll down and then see here info so the file type showing PLIST right click on it click open with and open with the notepad from here you need to press Ctrl plus F. Now in this pop-up box you need to type product. After type the product, so click this find uh, find the button. From here you will see some of the details. I close this pop-up uh, window. Now we need to find a product version. From here, you see a product version as 14.4, but we need to change as 14.3. Then after we downgrade as 14.4 to 14.3, we need to re-upload this file. Then our data is secured. And now so this file. Now close this window and go to the iTunes. So I'm using iOS 14.4. This is the uh, latest update. And you can see from here as well. Then it's very clear. I'm using iOS 14.4 uh, public update. So now we are going to downgrade 14.4 to 14.3 um, I'm placing my iPhone here like that okay so now we need to press shift and uh, check for update in here so now we need to go to the download this is the file that we download as 14.3 update so then click that and click open so once you click open you will see this here iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 14.3 we verify update with uh, Apple yes and click update now it will take a while from here in the top you can see it's extracting the software so we need to wait for a while now you see here preparing iPhone for software update Now your iPhone uh, can restart several times in the normal. You see here. Now it's in a recovery mood. Don't uh, take it out from the computer and keep playing same like here. I think this is the maximum what I can show you. 
So now here, it's a start to downgrade. So we need to wait till end the process. It'll take uh, most probably half an hour for fully process. So then guys, uh, I will hold this video and after complete that, I'll tell you what is the next step. Now, after first round, so then it's restarted again. Now we need to wait to end that process as well. It will take uh, 10 to 15 minutes maximum. Maybe 5 6 minutes um, it can be. So wait till end the process. It should fill up to here to here. Right guys, uh, you see this is the first sign what you can see here. A new iPhone software version 14.4 available which means we already downgraded iOS 14.4 to 14.3 because this software is available because we are in iOS 14.3 and uh, we need to wait till end the process alright guys the process is completed go into settings and uh, click about from here guys you see we already downgraded as 14.4 to 14.3 it's a hundred percent success it's 18 c66 the public update a public software version I'm using right now so now I want to show you my photos here we go there's nothing is missing everything is there just to see here everything done and uh, all my messages here and uh, other softwares and everything is here so guys this is the easiest way to do that so and uh, sometimes your iPhone didn't see the backup all the data is something like that what I have so then that time you need to go to your iPhone from here and uh, you need to restore what you want to do is restore is click here in the restore button and find the latest update what we did that latest backup what we done uh, which is we just changed the is 14.4 to 14.3 and then click restore so I'm not going to do that because all the data is with me if in case if your iPhone doesn't have so you can do that and then it'll take uh, 10 to 20 minutes depend how much data you have so then uh, all the data will be restoring to your iPhone so this is the way how to do that and if you did the cloud backup also you can go through that and get that it's not a problem